So give me your thoughts on the game that you just watched so, between Atletico and Dortmund. Uh, well, it was a game that was going easily with the 2-0, almost 3-0 for, for, for uh, Atletico because there was a nice possession of the ball by, by Borussia, but not big chances, you know. And then all of a sudden this goal uh, opened up uh, a new... New horizons for 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 Dortmund, I think, because you know keep the qualification more more alive than before. Uh, first half, a lot of Atletico in terms of uh, uh, aggressively, in, in terms of um, spirit of the game, you know, and finding solutions for scoring goals. Uh, definitely, you know, a big game by Griezmann, as we say at, at the beginning. Uh, Dortmund always believed, but didn't have a chance, you know, to find a, a good spot because, you know, when Atletico go 1-0 up, they're quite comfortable to sit a little bit back and, and control the game and close all the gap, you know, between midfielders and, and defense and also in the, between defenders. So was quite under control the game, but... You know, all of a sudden we say, this is Champions League, you know, you can't miss uh, the opportunity. And this is what happened, you know, and that goal for Dortmund opened up uh, a new a new thing for the for the next week. Alessandro, you mentioned Griezmann. We saw fantastic skill from him for the second goal. And over the last few years, we've spoken about Messi, Ronaldo. Right now, we speak about Haaland and Mbappe. How close is Griezmann to some of the best players in the world? I mean, I think it's it's uh, on the top list. Uh, I don't know, maybe we can say sometimes sometimes somebody is uh, on the first place, and someone can be the second or third place, you know. But definitely, this guy should be added on, on those players that are game changer because it's a kind of 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 uh, players that you know can discover new horizons. I mean. Whoever passed this ball, you usually, you know, have opportunity from 60 meters to the goal to shoot on your right, on your right foot. I mean, left for him, of course. You're gonna, you're gonna shoot that ball, but then he's already saw something before and they discover a new option that was definitely a better one for for Atletico and and Lino scored a goal. So, in terms of presence inside the game, it was absolutely amazing. It was under control in every ball. It, it gave that kind of confidence and calm of, and the, 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 his teammates give him the ball to feel safe sometimes. You know, we're in trouble, oh, let's give it to him. He's going to do something. Even easy pass, it's not an easy pass when you look at the game. It's a pass that determinates different timing. And this is what Atletico definitely needs. And of course, with the national team, did an amazing job, you know, world champion and keep going. So uh, it's, uh, it's uh, always something incredible to describe about this guy. Everything there was, was, was very, like, he's so intelligent, first and foremost, the throwing. You see how straight away, ball goes out, mm. he runs into the defense, behind the defense, comes back to not be offside, sees the game. Lifts, his, lifts the ball for his, for his teammates, and then the finish was, was magnificent. DePaul, Jamie's favourite. You absolutely love him, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to break it a little bit down later on, but it's just the anticipation. Yeah. Keeper takes a little bit too long, but if you just watch DePaul there, he's alive, he's ready, and then the finish to match. You see, a little bit better on this angle. As of, Oh, you want to talk about this, Jamie? This yeah, is not... I mean... I... It comes in here, Matson. Look, he's telling everybody to slow down, so he wants the goalkeeper to play it into him. He has a little look around the corner. He thinks his player is free. It's another midfield play, but as you said, De Paul comes flying in, reading the game, understanding the game. It's tantalising, isn't it, for the second leg? Is. Sure is. Big word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not what, as big as the one that you used. What was used. your word earlier yeah. on? What was it called? Was that? Uh, inculcate. Everybody. Inculcate. Yeah. Inculcate. What does it I, mean? I don't know. I've never heard of it in my life. What does it mean? It, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it before. It's when you when you uh, create something uh, with intent. You 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 breed. It's like breeding something, isn't it? You inculcate. I was saying that they you're inculcate. You're hoping someone's it. coming in here. Well, I know. No. no. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Always in my ear when I never want them in my ear. But this, you can yeah. Inculcate values to your kids. Thank you oh. so much, Jerry. Oh. Give us an example, then. Go on. Any. And I can look at values to your kids, politeness, right. whatever. How, how, how does 
doesn't speak bad English. This the is the, the cultured I, I, I end of the French. table. Is this an English word or a French word? No, but Uncle Kate, if you know, I mean, you, you know. I, mean, I thought you said, I'm going to call Kate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. No, that's what it sounds like. Go on, so, say it again. I call Kate. I call Kate? No, oh my God, you see, you're trying to be... <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, this is That's like... what it sounds like. <laughs> Say it one more time. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got what it means? Pardon? Do you what get what it mean? Yeah, I know what it means because I used it initially. I just wasn't very good at describing it, but you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to go to out to Madrid because Alessandro Del Piero has spoken to Atletico's uh, Cesar Aspiliqueta. Here you go. <laughs> I believe that was. It? kind of game that you know you always play for in, in two in two matches but tonight you show something that definitely you know I don't want to say unusual but you were under control of the game all the time and this is something that you know you're expecting to sit back a little bit more or something and this is something that you can prepare and with the with the Simeone at the beginning you know to go aggressively high and try to keep the potential of the ball yeah, uh, it's something that we we are working on that, on the intensity, trying to get the ball uh, uh, as close as possible from the opponent's goal. Uh, I think that that's the way we scored the first goal, which I think that, you know, the team uh, has the character, the personality to play a front. I think with the ball also we show great combinations, we create a lot of chances, we, uh, we had a lot of corners, uh, yeah. we could have scored. More goals, uh, but you know, as a defender, always disappointed with you know when you concede a goal, uh, which you know uh, is what it is. Yeah, uh, we have in the studio some yeah. someone that knows exactly that feeling, by the way. But yeah. uh, I mean, you you play amazing, and, you, and uh, this is good. How do you feel to be in Madrid after this long time in England? That is quite a different styles of game, right? Yeah, it's different. I had uh, I spent uh, 11 amazing years at Chelsea, um, amazing memories. Yeah. But, you know, everything uh, starts and everything ends. And, you know, that chapter ended. Uh, always grateful. Uh, you know, I, I live uh, great moments there. I enjoy my life in, in England, in, in Chelsea. And now, since I arrived here, my aim is to to keep improving as a player, to, to playing back in Spain that I left in 2010 to Marseille and then to Chelsea and, and now here in Atletico Madrid, always uh, trying to to help the team, the club and, you know, in the oh. Champions League enjoying the, the, the most I can. Uh, well, we're going to go back to Alessandro Noir. Apparently he's talking to somebody else, so he can't talk to us right now, but we will get you out to him and back out to the Metropolitano very shortly. We are going to go to uh, a, a very short break. No. We're not, excuse me, pardon, sorry. Uh, we are going to talk about the favourites for the second leg. Why not? What do you think? Uh, trying to wake up the teams. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'll stay, I will stay with Bar Barcelona. Of I'm, just, I'm just spoke, speaking about specifically this game, sorry. Oh, the oh, Atletico oh. Dortmund game. No, oh. oh. Dortmund I, take I, the game back to Germany now in the second leg. No, right? Atletico. I, I think... In yeah. terms of what they can do tactically, they can see out a game. You see what they did against Inter Milan as well. So, yeah, Atletico for me, I think they'll do a number on Dortmund in Germany. I agree. You don't agree from your face? It's Champions League. I thought that game was done done tonight. And suddenly it could have been 2-2. No, there's no way from the first half you can think that that game could have finished 2-2. But that's the beauty of the Champions League. That's exactly what you're saying. The game is going back to Dortmund. It looks like they were dead to me when you look at the first hour, suddenly they're bringing something back home. I know it's not what they wanted, it's a 2-1. But hey, I've been in a situation, you've been in a situation where you're throwing it down. Everyone left the, their house and then you won it. You can't call anything in the Champions League. <laughs> uh, left okay. the house, yeah, I like that. Yeah, some people <laughs> left their house. I watched it till the end. Mm? So... You never know. You did, Thierry didn't leave the house. No, no. <laughs> anything can happen. In, in uh, if you guys can come back from that Milan team with that team, anything can happen. But what would you so think? What would you think? Sorry, what you think? I, I, I love, I love, I love the, that team. Yeah, but with what, that what, team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was on your best Liverpool side. Oh, I'm well aware. So go and talk us through that half time, three 0 down. What, what's going through your mind? Yeah, go on. Uh, oh, hey. yeah, he's like, yeah. Wait, oh. I didn't hear what, what was the no, question. Sorry, the I was. Down the down. Yeah. Could Dortmund win? But we ended up at Istanbul. No, but because anything can happen. So yeah. Oh, yeah. listen, it was a freak. It was a miracle, wasn't it? Yeah, but what was your feeling in the dressing I, I room? Did thought... you think you could do it? Did you? What What would they be thinking? 
Dortmund, the down, they're at the home ground. Yeah. Can they basically turn yeah. it round? Yeah. Who knows? Kate? <laughs> <laughs> What? I've just been told to go to Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Alessandro Del Piero. Uh, we had been kind of stretching it out and filling Apologies. a little bit until we could get to you, Alessandro. Uh, and the reason was because Edin Terzic, the manager of Borussia Dortmund, was trying to get a selfie with you. Is that, is that that's what I'm hearing? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It, it happened, yeah. Yeah? We, uh, we, shared, some, we shared some thought about uh, what was our past. Uh, especially in Dortmund, you know, because uh, I played there a couple of times. So, and and also during the interview, we talk about that feeling, and it, it show a lot of confidence about the next game. I mean, uh, for sure, clear ideas what to do and what to not do. Plus the fans that are gonna help him and help the team to to show a little bit more and basically say that we start the game half an hour later than what we suppose. Mm. And then we took a, f a selfie. <laughs> so what does he plan on doing in, the, in this return leg? What did he tell you? Well, he, he said, uh, I asked him, what, what, what is the situation in the first half? Because he said, listen, we are 2-0 down and I need to come down and send an emotional message first and then talking about other things. Uh, and, and tell to his player to be more brave and courage, and and of course this is going to happen in Dortmund when you play with the 80,000 and more people on your shoulder that are going to cheer for you. So that's that bravery is going to come out and they're not going to stop uh, play with this bravery because it's one of the key for them and, and with the enthusiastic situation that they're gonna f create at home with the with the fans and use the fans they say that the fans help him help uh, Atletico tonight and it's gonna be the opposite the next one so they, they're pretty confident and and uh, they hope to go through uh, this uh, this game.